single Sitting, day. Like, pollution. Stench, yeah, the Taxis. Pollution. Sneeze is like, ah, shoot. My teachers keep saying, hopefully we'll be there going back to school. And I'm like, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, G Dog, can you hear me now? <laughs> Down there. Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Yeah. I can hear you. <laughs> Girl, you make me go so loco, loco, make me go crazy. We would make a beautiful baby. Knock on wood, is you trying to baby? me? Is it yes? Is it no? Is it maybe? Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. Ooh. What oh, what was that? Ooh. It was my YouTube. It was my YouTube thing on my um <laughs> iPad because. Basically, your today, mom. no, mum's mum's at work. Today, we're answering your polls, okay? Well, so, we're kind of like reacting as well. Reacting, to polls, that's a way questions. To put it, yeah. So, we thought that would be quite interesting to see how we react. Yeah. You know, obviously, we've seen the answers, but we've tried to keep our reactions to the minimum mm -hmm. so we can tell you what we think. Yeah, and I think it'll be interesting to see on a whole what people think about these questions. So yeah. Mm. Some of them are quite shocking. See hey. See Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. <laughs> we both went. Okay, so the first one that we've got, which I asked even. What is it? Um what is it? Once a cheat, always a cheat question. This mark. is a this is a big one to start off with. Once. And there was like, yup, they don't change or no people can change. Let's start with you. What do you think? Can people change? So I think I actually, so we answered them as well while we were doing it. Um, I did put, yep, they don't change, but it depends. So I was talking to my it boyfriend does about this and I was like, it depends. Because on the relationship, if, like, Max, how it ended. If Max cheated on me now, I would break up with him, obviously, but he would never do that. Um, but like I would break up with him, but say then we met like, I don't know, 30 years later and it was like, just such a coincidence we that we met and we were both single and it just felt like a coincidence and it was right do you know what i mean like it felt yeah. like it's meant to be then i'd probably just forgive and forget do you know what i mean and i would forget about the fact he cheated because it's been a while mm. but i think you're young it just depends on the situation as well but i think overall i'd say yep they don't change because i don't think i could ever get back with someone that cheated on me but it depends how long it's been as well yeah. you know you you've grown you grow I do agree. I don't. I, I'm. I was with the no side. Like I don't think people can change. Yes. Yeah, but I think if you think it is acceptable to do it once, like that's the hard part, doing it once. And if you yeah. like, if you can just do it once, then I mean, who's telling me you can't do it again? Exactly. Who's to say like you're not like a leopard? Yeah. What's that saying? Never, never change your spots. Your spots. And there was this saying out of Pretty Little Liars, actually. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and it was like, people, I haven't watched it in years, but it was along the lines of, people don't change, they just get really good at it. up who they really are. I think that's true as well. Like, they get skilled at it. I think it was Spencer that said that. Oh, we love a bit of Spencer. It was about Alison. Oh, yeah, she was a bit of a liar, wasn't she? Winters. She was a bit of a Pretty Little Liar. She was a Pretty Little Liar. Plug. Big up. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we both think, yep, they what don't change. But yeah, 70, yeah, so seventy-four percent of people said, yep, they don't change, and then twenty-six percent said they can change, and it was about two hundred and fifty people that answered. Wow. So, thanks for also thanks for everyone who got involved, answered the questions because yeah. it makes our life a lot easier. It does. Like it would be really hard if like thirty people yeah. answered them, like our mates. Like our close friends, know, yeah, you know like I mean? a lot of interactions. Thank you very much. Mm, it's nice. That. It's nice. Thank it's you. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for the music. Da, 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 da. Right, next question. Wait one sec. Hello. That can link to a next question of ours. It did like someone came in the door. That's a bit concerning. Do you believe that loved ones can contact you from the afterlife? Send you messages, mm -hmm. send you signs. I I think they can. Definitely. A thousand percent. Just because my mum had a bit of a what is it called? Something interact the cat what is that called? Like a 
spiritual Ooh. interaction. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, do you know there's a word though, isn't it? Um. Something like that. <laughs> Something along the lines. Um, we, it was with my granddad. I can never remember the full story, but my granddad had passed away, and my sister like woke up in the middle of the night. Liv, if you're watching, you you know about this story. Shout out, to shout me. out to you, you little spiritual caller. Um, and I think she came into my mum and dad's room in the middle of the night. My granddad was called Jim, and my nan's called Pam. And he come in. He come in. God, basically it was him. <laughs> she come in, and she was like talking to my mum and dad, she, like as if she was my granddad. That like, and Liv doesn't remember this. She was obviously only young. But I was seven when my granddad died, and my sister's seven years older than me, so. Yeah. But I think she came in and she was like, make sure you look after Pam, look after everyone for me. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, and all this stuff. And apparently my mum and dad were like, like you would be, like, dun, 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 dun. like, can you imagine? I don't know what I would do. Like, you want to cry? Like, do you go up to so them? Scared. Because then you I'd don't want to like... scare her. Or yeah, exactly. Granddad Jim. In the body, yeah. it's quite scary. So I definitely have found consent. Believe it. So it's now because your granddad was called Jim, and Jim is now a granddad. Your dad. My dad's now a granddad. Jim is granddad Jim, Jim Junior. <laughs> <laughs> he actually is. I mean, but obviously, it's my mum's dad. But yeah, he's the new granddad Jim. Yeah. Oh wait, oh, we, we didn't even talk about oh, this. Oh, let me have a look. I just gotta get them on my lap. Oh, I, I want to say what I think as well. Yeah, you go for it. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> Um, so I agree, I think like, so what was the question, like they can come beyond? I put, do you believe that loved ones can contact you from the afterlife, send you signs, spirits, so like do you believe in spirits? Definitely believe in sending you signs and stuff like, um, feathers and stuff like that. Definitely. They, don't they say butterflies as well? Is that a real one? Like when a butterfly lands on you, they say it's like a loved one. Oh, I don't know what it would be nice for. Oh, yeah, it would, you know. It's so nice. So what was the statistic? So we got, yes, definitely, 81%. And no, we like to believe it, 19%. More people agree with that than I thought. I thought people yeah, would be like, that is quite no spiritual. way, like, I don't believe. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not about that. Once people die, they die, that's it. No communication. But I was very shocked, actually. I was like, wow, you lot are all very spiritual. Love it. Very, very, uh, what's the word? Holy. holy. Jesus will be proud. Insert Aww. holy music. Right. Would you rather to be able to speak all... I can't... <laughs> I can say mine would either. You be a... Would you... It's because I've just put be able, so I haven't even started the sentence. Would you rather to be able to speak to all animals or speak every language? And the statistics are 57% of people said animals and 43% said languages. Mm, it's quite a middle, middle, really. Kind of 50, 50, 50, 50. I said languages and so did Grace. And I thought people would say languages more. I just said, I think the thought, when you first think about it, right, the thought is like, oh, like you want to speak to your pets. But that's yeah, the like only imagine thing all I want to speak speaking. to. Like, I want to speak to Daisy, my cat, yeah. an angel, yeah. but, like, I don't really care about, you know, the tiger in the zoo. The random rat down the road, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Before, um... Languages. Languages, because it would open up so many job opportunities for you. Can you you could live anywhere you wanted. You'd have no boundaries. Mm. Like, imagine going to Tokyo and just be able to speak to everyone. Mm. That, or that like just being able to like make friends to the smallest like you could literally like there'd be an undiscovered island and they speak a different language and you just know it and like you'd yeah. be so rich people would want you because you speak i believe in mermaids we should have asked that one i believe in mermaids 100 i'm not being funny why would there be a myth about it it's a very if it's weird not thing real. to make up yeah it's I'm actually what do you know what i watched the other day again oh. H2O. Oh, we just. Because I'm no ordinary girl. I'm a different. Oh, that is awful. My voice was oh, awful in that. 
Right, so yeah, people, Lovely. most people say animals, but I do see where you're coming from, but you've got to deep it a bit like more. Like your own pet. Do you know you what I mean? Deep it a bit more. Deep Think it about it more. logically. Speak to anyone. Work anywhere. Travel anywhere. Mm -hmm. No boundaries. Preach the stuff. Wouldn't be held that. Preach. Um, yeah. Yeah, Grace, do you want to do the next one, huh? Let's have a look at the next one. Right. Let's plug in the do you believe everything happens for a reason yes. and we got 91 percent said yes i live by that i said live no. by it i live by that and then the quote i put on there sometimes good things fall apart so better things can come together yeah 100 percent. just let that sit for a few seconds i really do believe you i think everyone has their path written out for them in life mm. like no matter how it can change i think you always and i think you have a destination yeah, I 100% agree with that. Like, mm. I think everything happens for a reason. Like, obviously some things that are small, like, oh, I ate a, you know, burrito for dinner. Like, that's <laughs> not what we mean. But, like, the fact, like, when my grandma passed away, I don't think I would be the person I am today if that didn't happen. Because she was, like, my second mum. So I, I went through that grief and it just made me such a better, like, Stronger. kinder and stronger person like I, I thought about things more and I cared about people more and really realised you've got to really appreciate what you have while you have it because it doesn't last and I think it's a horrible thing to learn at such a young age because I was only 11 but it's something that's made me the person I am today and I think that happened for a reason preach yeah do you know what I mean you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I mean um so yeah we believe that as well as you guys. Mm. We we are next on one. the same side. The next same one side. is um, live. Oh, this is just a quick fire one. Yeah. Live in the city or at the beach, and we had sixty nine percent say beach and thirty one say city. I said beach. You know what? I did put beach, but it really that one really got me because I'd love to live in like a busy city like New York, like city life. Yeah. But then love the beach i think so i think that's a really overall, hard one to choose i thought but overall overall would you rather have that busy every single city, day like pollution stench, yeah the taxis pollution. Exactly. underground or have the beach 24 7 because you can always go to yeah. see like with us like our beach ain't great but we live about an hour and 20 minutes from london when the sun's shining cheap day out to the beach that is all you need to do. Yeah. You don't need to spend we money on the beach. Our summer, didn't it's we? about the simple things, isn't it? Making yeah. the sandcastles, going for a swim, just the being with your mates in life. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that actually. And it just seems a bit more relaxing. Like if it's going to be for the rest of your life, do you want to be an eighty-year-old in a busy city? No. Hell no. Hell to the no, because you probably Hell get no. run over by one of the skirting cars. <laughs> My dad knocked someone over once. <laughs> what on his bike? <laughs> This is crazy, Jim. No. What are you doing, was, No, it wasn't actually his fault. It was just this, um, I think it was a man or a woman on their phone, oh. walking across the street on their phone in London. And he was like, doing these, what is it? Ding, 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 Fucking ding, 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 ding. He was like, move, move. And I think they had the headphones in as well. And I think my dad just went, bloop, flipped. And I think his bike folded oh up. Oh, God. Treacherous. Yeah, traumatic. Be careful, guys. Don't walk Stay across safe. the road with your phone. Stay safe. Boris has yeah. got an announcement tonight. <gasps> I know. What do you think? What do you think he's gonna, he's gonna say? Oh, my teachers keep saying, "Hopefully, we'll be going back to school." And I'm like, "Yeah, hopefully." <laughs> <laughs> oh god, so it's all gonna catch up on us now. You're I'm not in a rush. <laughs> you know what? I'm not in a rush because I'm just scared that it's gonna happen, happen all again. over again. I do like, not just want to eat honestly out leave out it till June again. if you have to because yeah. I just don't want to be in a lockdown for. Yeah, exactly. Don't even care anymore. I just don't want it to happen again. Exactly. Well, leave it until June like the fifth. <laughs> no, before the thirteenth. No, after nothing the be though. after the no before the thirteenth. You know you can keep us in. I, you can open on June the twelfth. Yeah, perfect. Right before perfect. my birthday. And make sure you're still open on the fifth of July. Yeah. <laughs> I said the next one, does money buy happiness? Yeah. And we got... <laughs> I 
life yes it makes me happy no it makes life easier and then yeah that but i didn't realize 26 percent to no and then 75 percent. because you to... said no it makes no. life easier but yeah it does make life easier but it also gives me happiness but i feel like it's a very short-term happiness i don't know you get like... you get distracted at first buying yeah. things and then i think after that it would just but like my bed that would become the norm to you huh my bed makes me happy <laughs> that was money so it didn't <laughs> my dress makes me happy i just bought this dress the other day do you want to see it it's, i bought this because right i was like i want to buy myself a summer dress so there's hope for the summer if that makes any yeah. sense like that we're gonna be yeah. able to go out this is it it's so cute it reminds me of, like something like jane would wear it. oh you can't oh that's so it's got cute. like little that flowers on new look New look, it was Aww. six pounds. No way. Yeah. But I do get what Bargain you mean. Buys. It's temporary happiness. But then yeah. like Like overall, things... deeply, is it making you happy or is it just like making you materialistically happy? But then like you say that, but like when you go on holiday, you look back on their memories forever, don't you? And like you look yeah. back on a picture and you're like, Oh my god, like when we went to Spain, like that was when me and Grace were on our first holiday yeah. together. Like True, that's a bit of both, because it's like you needed money to pay for the holiday, but you spending money on holiday is not what making you happy. Yeah, and also, like, it's you need money for friends, everything. Buying. People yeah. who are like, money doesn't make it you happy. It just makes... I think it... I said no. I think it makes you life easier. Yeah. Like, not to have money troubles. Like, yeah, it can make you happy as in the sense that you, wow, you're so stress-free, you know? Mm. If I haven't got to worry about my mortgage, my bills... Yeah, but then how you know, much money are we talking Money's not then? an issue. Because I didn't mean, like, winning the lottery. I just meant in general, like, the average well, Joe. you just had enough <laughs> money. I just... just man, I just thought of, yeah, like if you were getting some money or you were just rich and you had money oh i just thought in general like us like not if not people oh. being rich or anything yeah yeah i just meant like all oh, like you know if i'd buy myself you know a dvd like and watch it that's gonna make me happy <laughs> yeah <laughs> right oh this is such a good one this is probably Go. one of the best ones on it Go. Lose all your friends, but be with the love of your life, or have loads of friends, but never meet your soulmate. And we've got 71% of people said love of your life, and 29 said friends. Do you know what? I didn't vote on that, because I couldn't choose. Couldn't choose. Didn't vote. And, we and do, you know what? do you know what? Annabelle messaged me, and she was like, I actually can't choose for any of your or Amy's things. She was like, it's so hard. We messaged each other. Like, it was hard, because like, Liv messaged me as well, like your sister. Did she? We were mess me and you were messaging about this one. We did talk about this one. And we were saying, like, the thing it's is, so hard. we'd say friends, but then the love of your life is supposed to be your soulmate. Like, you shouldn't mm. need anyone else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, everyone wants to, like, live that happy, perfect life, finding the one. Like, that's what most people want that in life, don't they? Like, to find the one, like, get married, have children, you know? Make your generation, yeah. your line of people. It's, so it's really hard to choose. I couldn't choose. In the end, I chose friends because... I looked at my mum's perspective, so my mum mm. d isn't with But what anyone. would your mum say, though? What would your mum say? My mum said the opposite. <laughs> she said soulmate. Yeah, because yeah. that's because she's never had it. Like, yeah, she's still wondering. She's 53, and, like, she probably still wonders what it's like. But then you look at your her life, and she is so happy. Like, she is one of the mm. nicest, happiest people I know. So that's yeah. why... And it doesn't mean that if you find the one, you'd be happier. Yeah. Like, like when some girls are like, oh, I'd be so much happier if I had a boyfriend. You probably wouldn't. Unless... It's not... It's not like, they're adding to your, your life. It's an added bonus. Yeah. It's not like, like if you have a boyfriend... You need that to make, make you happy. Away. Like, yeah. you still need your friends and you still need family. I don't know what I would have put. I think that would be I'm fine. I think confused. I probably would have put that. I'm still confused. Some way. But... Yeah, I don't know really. <laughs> we don't know either, so Luckily, you didn't vote for that one. We it's don't never blame a situation you. that you'd have to be in, really, is it? Touch wood. Exactly, yeah. But, um. Unless there was some weird sort of ban. <laughs> you can't have a boyfriend to have then, a friend. But then, like my mum said, imagine if this was real and, like, 
all your friends then like went off with their soulmates and you didn't have any oh, and you were left behind <laughs> what would you do like and you like picked the friends one so then could you change your mind though because you'd be like, no, I'm sorry, take it back. I want a no, soulmate. No, I don't think so. I don't think the world works. What about that way. if all the soulmates could be friends? No, because you've so only like, got all the people soulmate. who chose. No, because oh, you're only yeah. supposed to have that one person. My one was just a bit of a funny one for the next one. I just thought, keep it light-hearted. And it was, would you rather sneeze or hiccup for an hour? So we spoke for this one, didn't we? And we said. And sneeze was 41, 49% and hiccup was 51. We said hiccup. Hiccup's this. A sneeze is like. <laughs> and it's like germs. snot, yeah, snot, germs, coronavirus. Can you imagine if you're in a supermarket and this person was sneezing for an hour, you're going to think, can you stop sneezing? You need to wash your hands. Hiccup in, there's no mess, there's no germs. You're just like, there's no COVID. With your it's like a, ah, ah. I, feel, I feel like it would be quite dramatic though, wouldn't they? You know, like a really <gasps> hiccup. You know, the ones where they're really like... <laughs> Who makes the rules? <laughs> I feel like God would make them very dramatic if we had to do them every hour. God would just make those hiccups awful. He'd really stitch us up, I'm he telling would. you. But yeah, I was quite shocked at the 50 50ness. Yeah, yeah, it was only like 2% different. I'm very shocked. A bit of a quick fire one. Travel into the future or back in time, and it was fu future 44% and back in time 56%. Yeah, I'd love to see what it was like in like the Victorian days. Oh, Elizabethan Tudors yeah. and just seeing people from your just past like, see, like meeting my grandma family and members granddad meet. or like definitely a thousand percent you know my uh, when our mum and dads were like 20 giving birth to my dad <laughs> maybe not see that maybe not that <laughs> maybe just be there and be able to see him like <laughs> yeah and like you you never met your granddad no exactly as well well one of them Brian's still doing well. <laughs> Hello, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I never met my granddad, James, my mum's dad, because he passed away when my mum was with them. Yeah. yeah. James, Captain James, because he was Both our mum's dad. Captain. Screw, screw, was he? Of the ships, not a car. Oh, Captain wow. of a car. <laughs> we both said back in time, and look at cute little Definitely. Picture. A little cat and a little <laughs> blind. <laughs> oh, um, right, my turn. turn I went to say babe, and I went <laughs> your turn, babe. 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 Your turn, babe. It's because Chintzy keeps she saying does babe you. in all of their babe. videos and in their podcasts, and she's babe. like, babe. Like, I just tell my daughter. She was like, I tell my daughter, <laughs> babe. Don't get her into a relationship until you're like thirty. Loving that energy. Like, Why? Right. The next one was. <sighs> I feel like my nose is getting really blocked. I sound a bit nasally, that's probably why. Um, should the guy pay on the first date? I feel like this is such a controversial one. I think it really depends. Right. But girls offer, and that got 64%. And no, not really fair on the boys, got 36%. I'm quite tr traditional when it comes to dating and that. Like, very Same. traditional. I think the man should always, like, walk on the outside of the road and make sure yeah, you're like, on the inside. I think be a and, bit like, chivalrous. open doors you. You know, I would... I think in be this nice. day and age, <laughs> most girls would be offended if you didn't pay. Because I think girls think, like, all right, first time we've gone on a date, you know, we don't really know each other. And he doesn't want to treat me or to even pay for me and then you feel what like what are you gonna be like, like in the future a girl would get pissed off a girl would and that's yeah, just but now women. all these feminists i'm a feminist as well but a lot of feminists hate, hate that now like when guys offer to pay they're like no i can pay myself i do and understand like, I do feel the bad for perspective boys like i do see why I people say no myself. it's not fair i do understand yeah. it but do you know what i do think I understand it, but it's just nice manners to yeah, pay. Yeah, you, you know feel I mean? treated, you feel special. Like, I would always 100%. offer. 100%. I've always offered, and I've always, I've always been like, 
no, like, are you mm. sure? Because I'm happy to pay. But when they actually said, uh, no, I've never had anyone say this to me, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> we won't go into that. I'm happy but to pay, a bit but of a shock. I think it's such, I think it's a really good impression. It makes you feel yeah. good. If a boy's like, no, I'm going to take you out. Treat you like a lady. You, I'm going to treat you. Should we treat get you a little like perspective on this? <laughs> we actually dad. should. Get, you, get your dad, dad in. See what he thinks. Because it's a good, come it's here. good as well because we have grown up in different societies. Dad, come here. Well, take him off then. <laughs> take his shoes. <laughs> we want your perspective. Does he think the guy should pay on the first date? That is the ultimate question. He just goes get the good looking dad on. Fuck his own ass. <laughs> Alright, calm down. <laughs> Jig dog there. Yeah. I can't see her. How is Yo, she? Oh, phone in so you can hear Yo, Jig dog, can you hear me now? <laughs> Pop down then. Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Yeah. I can hear you. <laughs> What do you think about oh, boys? Red in the face. I know. Because he's ready and he's watching <laughs> you. Okay. What do you think about men not paying on the first date? Yeah, should the guy pay okay, on the first date? What What about if he doesn't? Well, he's, he's a twat. I agree. I think he's chivalrous. I don't want to be on it. Look how grey I look. He's well mannered. <laughs> Cut me out. Keep that bit in. Well, they should be paying, yeah. Step up to the mark. Exactly. It's like, imagine if they can't pay on the first date. What are you thinking? Like, Wasters. In the... Exactly. Are they going to pay? Are they ever going to want to pay no. for you? No. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Thanks for joining in. So... Do you think you guys should pay yes. the first date? Yeah. My dad's Why opinion. is that? Because he's a twat if he doesn't. I'm going to be so offended. Imagine if someone's watching, they're like, well, I'm never going to want to meet Amy's dad. Hey, Can't not... pay, Adrian will take you away. <laughs> Next one is be stranded on a desert island with, oh, we really disagree with this one, with no one or your worst enemy and 40% said no one and 60% said worst enemy. Really? We think no one and so does the whole of my family. No. My dad and my mum both said no one and Max. I, I much prefer being in my own company than with some bitch. With the person I hate. <laughs> She's your enemy for a reason. Yeah, like we're reason. not friends for a reason. He or you... she. Yeah, like, I love being on my own anyway, so why would I want to be the on an island? The only reason why me and Dad said... some bad the energy. The reason why you'd want to be on an island with someone you hate is so you can eat them if you get hungry. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> Nomping away mm -hmm. on their All own. All right, if no one was there, no food or nothing... So you're going to eat a human? What are you, a All right. vampire? What would you do? Just die? Not eat the human. What would you eat then? Eat some Tell sand. Me. Some sand. We're on an island. Eat sand. I'll eat the trees. Some bark. Just die on some <laughs> bark in your insides. <laughs> I'd start growing a tree inside of me. <laughs> We've just gone on a weird tangent. <laughs> Right, we, we won't talk about that. We'll forget about that. Can exes be friends? I think this really depends on the yeah. situation. I know we did do a yes or no answer, but I think it's. I think yes. yes. It just very. De I did put yes. I but genuinely it depends, think yes the thing. because it depends how you break up. But not every relationship is going to end badly. Not every relationship is going to be like he cheated on yeah, me. Exactly. You know. If, yeah, she cheated on me with my best mate. Exactly. It's They're not, not all like, like that. Like, say me yeah. and my boyfriend broke up because we just, I don't know, you know, didn't love, didn't each, love each other anymore. Or something, yeah. I think we'd still, still, be, still friends. be friends. Do you know what I mean? But then, like, yeah. with other situations, if he cheated on me, I wouldn't be able to be his friend. Get him Someone people. else. <laughs> it might be Royal Mail. Dad, can you get the door? One. The back. Should we see what it is? Yours did order some slippers a couple of days ago, so I'm hoping it's her. Ooh. Do you know what? I use the slippers you bought me every day. I bought some other ones from ASOS similar to yours. What is so it? Good. 
Well, my dad's a good example of exes who are friends. Getting in there again. My mum and dad are friends. It's not your mum yeah. and dad. Friends! <laughs> <laughs> You're friends with mum, aren't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, yeah, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> No problem. No, you're pretty good mates. Look at the slippers, guys. Yeah, mustard colour brownie. Oh my god, I saw them. What? It's the bald ones. Do you like ones. them? Yeah, I like them. I'll put my uh, navy pair in. Didn't get pink here. ones now. As you can see. Look, they're like little sheep. They look <laughs> tiny though. Would you rather get married in a church or outside, like a beach or a vineyard? And we've got eighteen percent said church and. 82% really? outside. I think because when you think of a church, you think of like what you used to go to in school. Incredible <laughs> church, like. Like a lovely romantic. romantic. It doesn't have to be old, it can be like a new church. Mm. I just like, I like the idea of getting married I agree. in a church. Quite Very traditional. traditional, I love it. I like it. Yeah, but then I love the idea. Getting married. I actually married said outside, on a beach, but I do understand where this is coming from. Like, I would definitely say I was getting married. I would view both venues. I'd view outside areas and definitely. churches, and you just do what feels right for you. But initially, I said I mean, outside. In the UK, in the UK, in the UK, I'd rather a church. More... Yeah, because what yeah, if it rains? I would not want to go out. No. You're screwed. Next, Next one. one. Oh, this is a really good one. Have you ever had a friend distance themselves because they have gotten into a relationship? Yes. I think most people have. My mum said yes. My dad yeah. said yes. Like, I think it's more common. Yeah, it's definitely more think. common. Like, I think everyone's had it. Um, fourteen percent said no, and eighty-six percent said yes. So it's pretty much everyone. Wow. Um, which is sad. It's quite sad. I'd really. never Come do on, that, guys. and I don't think stick most together. Do it. Mm. No. We got this. We got each other. Your friends are gonna always be there for you. Like, right, you can come and go out of relationships. But who's going to be there for all the hard times? Who's going to be there when shit goes down? Your friends. Um, would you rather have constant bad breath or wax coming out your ears 24-7? <laughs> wax! Wax! 100%. <laughs> and... Yeah, like wax. You could maybe put some earplugs in, stop that flowing out. Oh, that would get very sticky though. Like, imagine it in your hair. Trickling down your neck. Yeah, any time it would be annoying was like, if you like kiss someone, maybe you put your hand on their ear and it's all sticky and clumpy. Sticky. Pretty nice thought. Uh, or if you like wake up in the morning and you like head stuck to the pillow. <laughs> what? We believe in reincarnation slash afterlife and that we were other people before we were born. Yeah. Sixty nine percent said yes. I just believe in it, and then. 31 was no how can we prove it i mean mm, i said yes i don't know you know i don't know that's what i'm thinking i put yeah like i, I said yes but then anymore. what situation have i thought they're reincarnated never yeah like we can't prove it i've never been proved i've not got any evidence no. for that one so i'm not too sure i oh sometimes i think maybe my cat's my grandma <laughs> But, like, that's just a thought. Like, it's a jokey thought. Do you know what I mean? I don't genuinely. Yeah, like, you think you've it. not got any proof. Like, she didn't start speaking yeah, to Yeah, she you. wasn't like, Amy. Amy, I've come back from the dead. We're done, I, I think. think. We're done. Do you know what? I enjoyed that. It was quite oh, it funny. Was kind of nice just going through all your views. Yeah, like, I just what see what I think. Me too. Because I feel like we do like talking about topics. I feel like we could make this a series. Could do, you know? It's going to be very hard Just to find some new ones, so I'm not going to lie. Yeah, might have to uh, steal some. Get the thinking caps on, because it's hard thinking of polls, isn't it? What's that? It is. Like, we had to like do them throughout the day, because I couldn't yeah, think. Like, I constantly. did a few mine in the evening, because... Mm. Just... just Anyways. Very, very, very difficult. Thank you, guys. Very difficult. Thank you, guys, for watching the video. We hope you yeah. enjoyed. And if you like it... Give us a like and let us know. Our Instagrams will be linked down. Yeah. Well, not linked. What's the you word? You did join Just in added. this time. You can join in on the next you can one. join in next time. Yeah, exactly. we really hope. To... Maybe just put our Instagrams here. Ah. Really hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one. Not too sure see what we're doing yet, but. Yeah. You'll be surprised. We have got a couple of things that we've thought about. A couple in the making. 
Yeah. All right, we'll see you Bye. soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.